Well, I'm out here in the old uh, open air workshop with the drills are going on. Um, that generally means I'm not going to get to do what I want. But um, I've got uh, I've got I got a project that's really really important. But I don't think it's going to happen today. But let me tell you a little bit about what's going on. All right, so I had to recondition this this uh, rabbit hutch here. Um, it had wooden sides on it on the ends and uh, it had two doors and they was both chewed up pretty bad and falling off but this this boy here we believe he to be a buck everybody says well you know maybe not but well um, to err on the caution of uh the where the where to oh well i can't talk to err on the side of caution we have considered he's a buck. So we've put him in here by himself. Uh, this is about mm, two by two by four, so he's about eight square feet. These pins over here are 12 square feet. Um, but anyway, we got him a spot. Well, we got three, three girls right here, and they don't have a spot. But thanks to Hidden Thicket, we got us a spot right here. What I got to do is do some uh, rework on it. Uh, it's, it's got a hole in the floor over here. One thing about rabbit hutches, uh, rabbit's pee, and the, the urine is very, very anti-metal. So, you know, there's a hole there I need to patch. And to be honest, I would probably be better off just putting another piece of wire across the bottom. I don't want to get rid of the wire that's there because it is structurally sound. But what I'll do, get away from that cat. Get away from that cat. What I'll do is uh, I'll get some more wire and I'll I'll get some of this hardwood cloth I got over here. And I mean, she gave me some wire, so I might use some of that. But um, anyway, I got hardwood cloth, and what I'll probably do because it's faster and easier, is I'll take pieces of that and lay it inside on the floor on the inside but i've also got to fix the doors and they open to the inside and um we've got some latches so i'm hoping i can reuse them somehow uh there's a lot of good material here but um i just got to rework it and like i said i believe the weather is not going to cooperate so my first order of business is I'm going to take the front completely off. Uh, it's held on with J-clips. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front completely off. And then I'm going to build a new front and reattach it. But like I said, the weather's not going to cooperate. I'm going to see how far I can get before it just blows up and decides to just drown me. Um, it ain't done it yet. It's just a light drizzle. And old redneck can handle a light drizzle. So, let me see how much I can get done. What I did is I turned this, well, my, the missus, it was her idea. We turned this upside down, put the bad, the bad side up, up on top and put the top on the bottom. Well, I now have a stand for a rabbit hutch. So, I'll take you a moment. And I just uh, got lucky. Uh, Hidden Ticket gave me some lumber. And two pieces of the lumber had braces already on it. So I figured I'd just follow through and put them braces. <laughs> That's our cat food loving chicken. And every time it gets up there on the chicken pan, on the cat food pan, we chase it off. And it gets mad. Oh, well. But I did have to use a board stretcher to make it work. Uh, each one of these uh, crosses right here is a supports the wall of a pin so I ended up being just a little bit short so I put a board I put a board stretcher in there I think it'll hold it so uh, I do I do want to run some diagonals I mean some smaller stuff to brace it in a little bit on the, the other directions but yeah it's ready to go let me show you what it's going to do all right so what we're going to do 
is the missus had the idea of putting hardware cloth on the frame and then put this on top of the hardware cloth. Well, my concern is, is these holes, the, baby, the foot might fall through it. Well, we got zip ties. So we can zip tie that probably one time right in the middle. And that'll probably be enough to hold that uh, cage to the frame in the hardware cloth. But that way, we'll have a solid floor. Uh, and then the roof, well, it's just three pieces of uh, stuff that we had laying around. Now here on the end, I'll have to put a, another piece of plywood over here on the end, but I got a piece of that. Or just a uh, feed sack I work. I just put it across here and staple it up here on top and let it hang down. But uh, now all we have to do is put the front back on. Now, some of this, I'll reuse pieces. Of, I'll reuse the pieces for the doors and some of the other pieces, but it's pretty chopped up and rotted out. So uh, I got latches that I think I can use on the doors. So, yeah, we're about to have us, our, ourselves a rabbit hutch. Thanks to Hidden Doc. Thanks to Hidden Thicket. Okay, we're going to try this again. I'm out here working on the rabbit hutch. And uh, I'm putting a new front on it. Uh, I've got one door finished. All uh, wrapped up. i got a latch on it. It's a little tight because the door's not exactly... Well, the lumber is kind of twisted on it. But anyway, it closes and latches. And uh, I got the hardware cloth here. Uh, I'm going to put the water and the feeder there side by side, I hope. I hope that works. But um, anyway, what I ended up doing across the back is I ended up putting this one by across the back like a clamp to hold the wire in because the weight of the rabbits, I was afraid it might bounce it around and sink the, sink the wire. So that works. So I just wanted to strengthen it. Not so much strengthen it, but these are one by ones at the bottom. The top is one by one. And I was afraid the rabbit foot would get through there and they get hung up on the wire. So what we're going to do is we'll zip tie the hardware cloth to the cage to make it so there's not a gap between the hardware cloth and the, and the cage. Um, I'm going to put a board across the side here. I do want to run uh, boards across here for bracing. Uh, toward the bottom of the legs but i ain't gonna get a whole lot done today because it's overcast and threatening rain and that's not good for the uh that's not good for the table saw um like i said i got one more door frame to make uh i think this hardwood cloth where i had have it spliced i think that's good enough i don't think that's going to cause any problems um but yeah, I think that's basically it. Get it finished, and then we'll have another rev hatch. Oh, I do have top stuff I can put up here for the top. So, yeah, I think we could uh, call this one just about on its way to being finished. All right, the missus calls that the cottontail condos, the big one. These are 12 square feet. This is going to be the buckaroo bungalow eventually right now it's temporarily the girls as this is the cottontail efficiencies cottontail bungalow yeah that's what she's calling this cottontail condos over there cottontail bungalows over here and the bachelor pad right here and uh, right now we are well we need the feeders and the water so otherwise they'd be occupied but uh, right now I got some tools sitting in there that I got to put up. But we got a spot up here for the cat food. Uh, I ain't gonna swear to that's gonna stay that way, but that's the way it is right now. Uh, and this is these wire cages came from came from Hidden Ticket, and all I did was put a new front on them. But other than that, new front and stand. Other than that. They are from Hidden Thicket. And the lumber I used was old flooring that somebody gave us that they were throwing away. So there we have it.